So here's a quick post about a guy who rightfully kicks his girlfriend to the curb after discovering, wait for it, she's cheating on him. But the interesting thing is, you're going to see in this story how since the, they started the relationship, she's always been super jealous, super possessive, controlling, strict, all that. Meanwhile, this guy is, and hasn't done anything to give her a reason to do so. And almost always in stories such as this, cheaters generally seem to think that everybody else is a big cheater, so they treat them accordingly. When and guys like this in the story haven't done anything to uh, warrant that type of behavior. So if you're a relationship guy and your girl suddenly starts becoming super jealous, super possessive, and behaving in ways like you're going to hear in this story, it's time to do some investigating. And especially, you're going to see pride real quick, things aren't quite adding up. And to protect yourself, you got to do some digging. And here, you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. Titled, 95% sure my girl is cheating on me. And a shout out to Juan for sending me this short story. He says, so let's start off with what started this all. I, a 21-year-old male, and my girlfriend, a 21-year-old female, are in a pretty serious relationship for about four months. Four months? That's a serious relationship? No, that's that's nothing. But of course, when you're that young, everything's so, so long and so serious. She is very jealous and strict about talking to the opposite gender and having them on social media. As a result of this, I delete every girl that isn't family as per her request, and she did the same, at least so I thought. Yeah, notice he said, so I thought. Guys, I got no problem with setting boundaries when you get exclusive. Healthy boundaries, what will work, what won't work, that type of thing. But when you, when somebody, you can clearly describe a gal as being possessive or jealous or strict or something like that, that's a problem, and you're going to see here. She says she has a friend group consisting of her two female friends, her cousin, and a male friend of her cousin who is in a relationship with one of her female friends. She says they hang out sometimes, which I don't mind because it's her cousin. The problem is they hung out last month, but she told me that she was going out with her female friends. I had to find this out after digging and asking questions. Uh-huh. So the gal who you say is strict and jealous and all that is already getting caught in lies about, about a guy. Uh-huh. This was a red flag already. Why did she lie by hanging out with a friend group with her cousin? Her family is strict, so she couldn't tell him about us. Uh, then I made the mistake of checking her phone. And yes, I know, it's an invasion of privacy, blah, blah, blah. But she was checking my phone, which I didn't mind. And I thought, I don't need to check I don't need to check hers. I trust her. Hang on here. She's regularly checking your phone, but you feel like you shouldn't be checking hers. Again, it's one thing, if like, oh, I'm going to take a picture with your phone or do this. But she's actually like, give me your phone. And she's going to expect everything. When women are like this, or both parties actually, are always treating you in a manner like uh, you're actually uh, getting into trouble, it's usually because they're up to no good. And usually they're cheaters. And let's see if I'm right. Then I made a mistake. I read that part. I found out that apparently this cousin of hers has feelings for her. Um, this is her cousin. He has feelings for her. What kind of... Uh, what, are we, what are we doing? Is this friend from West Virginia? She was texting a friend 10 days ago that she was do done with him because he, he went clubbing, etc., and she needs a serious guy and all that. Oh, now you have evidence that uh, something's going on here, and she's looking for a serious guy, and she has a problem with this guy's clubbing. Bro, you're the one that's playing by the rules, but not her. Then I checked her hidden pictures, and there was a picture of them, 10 days old, sitting in a photo shop all close. A photo booth all close. Her female friend told her, you know about his feelings for you, and that it's tough for him. Um, sounds to me this guy isn't actually her cousin. I confronted her and said someone seen with someone saw her, so she should start talking about it. She said she went to an arcade two months ago and she went with the whole group. Then I started about the messages, which she tried to cover up by saying no, it meant this and that. So obviously something's going on. You got proof in the pictures, you got proof in the her behavior, proof in what she was texting, and she's denying it. I told her, go to your hidden pictures and let me look. I saw her checking the, the photo and saying, this is old stuff with swiping away. I took her phone, looked, and said, old stuff, why are you lying? She left the car and went away. Two hours later, I picked her up and continued talking. She admitted that she, he wasn't her cousin. Their mothers were friends, so this is how they knew each other. Oh, so she's been lying all along about this dude. Oh, well, never mind, he's not my cousin. Red flag, red flag, red flag. 
She said she lied because she didn't want to lose me and that she was planning to stop seeing this group because he has feelings for her. Uh huh. The text, mes- the text messages clearly state that she is done with him because he's clubbing, etc. I said, uh, why do you care if we are in a relationship? She, ca- she counters by saying that he asked me if he could go, so I was talking to my friend, like, what does he think? That I would like someone who goes out clubbing, etc. That's a hypothetical situation. Blah, blah, blah. Worst part is my gut feeling was right all along. She blocked him and deleted him, but I managed to memorize his phone number. I tried calling him last night, but no response. My trust is gone, but I want the closure of hearing his side so that I know that if I can start building again or quitting it ASAP. Bro, this is way too much drama than it's worth, okay? She's obviously lots of red flags. Now, we're going to have an update in a second to see what's going on here. But, yeah, she's obviously cheating on you. She's The reason she's acting so possessive and strict and jealous and everything is because she assumes that you're just a cheater, too. That's how they think. She's proven to be a liar. It's not worth it. Now, the update. He says, I called the guy, and she was indeed cheating on me. He was her backup plan. She even brought the same birthday presents for us. <laughs> I spoke to him quite a lot, confronted her, and she started crying, and I turned around and went to my car. Thanks for the support. Always trust your gut. Now we have another update. So there you go. He called the guy, and the guy probably didn't even know she had a boyfriend, and, uh, you know, and she's cheating on him. Perfect example. Final update. She she kept calling me after I blocked her and everything. She was saying she was coming to my place to talk. I went away to a secluded parking lot and met her there. Smack! There's nothing to talk about. She's proven to cheat on you. What was there to talk about? You don't need closure. Whilst uh, going there, I called the guy up and told him, come over and get some answers for everything. Little side note, he's a pretty cool guy. Looked like me, looks like me, which is weird, but he was cool nonetheless. Before I continue, a little background here. She is Muslim and I'm Christian. And by all means, she isn't remotely trying to practice her religion. She drinks, smokes, and does the stuff before marriage. You get what I mean. So I got to wonder, is she behaving in the manner she is because she's rebelling against her family and probably her religion and all that or is it the religion and family that you know or uh, I had a point but now I should have written this down but the point is yeah uh uh-huh she says because the stress her parents gave her that she did and made these rash decisions decisions and ashamed for what she did oh blame it on the parents okay fine if she you know if she grew up in a strict house and she wants to drink and Hook up, okay, it's fine, but her parents made her be a liar and a cheater? No, bullshit. I didn't show empathy or comfort, and I told her, you were wrong, you play with me and th- with this other dude. Yeah, she knew what she was doing. Some talking went on, and the dude left. I stepped. I, st- I stopped in the car. She was asking for forgiveness and a second chance. No. I told her, no, you knew what you were doing, and it's over. I have no hatred towards you, I wish you the best. Went to my car and never looked back. So there you go, guys. That's the whole point. The whole time, she's behaving in a way very suspicious, the possessive, the jealous thing, and all along, she's a big cheater. This is the point. This is what they do. So if you're dating a gal and she's super jealous, possessive, always wants to be on your phone and all that, and this goes beyond setting healthy boundaries, the odds are something's going on, you know? And right here, another perfect example. 